Welcome. Today we're going to talk about just basic breathing and its relevance and importance to abdominal and pelvic health. So if we look at our friend here, Mr. Oscar the Skeleton, we can see that uh, at the bottom of his pelvis, this red chair represents his pelvic floor. In the middle of his thorax, bottom five ribs attaches the diaphragm. And then at the top, we have the glottis, which is our throat, and we have a muscular diaphragm there as well. So as we breathe, we need to bring air in through the glottis. It then diaphragm drops down in order to make room for the air in the lungs. And that puts pressure down at the abdominal wall and into the pelvic floor. So we can see how just the breath relates from top to bottom. Now, if we think about uh, just coordinating our breath to optimize pressures in through the system to help optimize on the pressures on the bottom of the pelvic floor, whether that's related to pelvic organ prolapse or um, pelvic floor activation in relationship to a cough or a sneeze, running, jumping, that type of thing, we want to make sure that this part in the thorax is moving well, and that's where we can use the breath to do that. So you can sit comfortably either on a chair, on your heels, maybe we'll grab a yoga block, stick it underneath, that's helpful, or even a bolster, whatever you're most comfortable in. So just taking a moment to tune in and take a nice big breath. Noticing where your breath goes or maybe doesn't go so well. So both, not only the front body, but also the back body, abdomen and pelvic floor. So breath in, breath out. One more deep breath in. And let all the air out. So for a lot of people, what I notice clinically is that a lot of us tend to breathe deep into the belly, but then we tend to just puff the belly, or into the chest. And a lot of that really is focused on our front line. So if you can, see if you can breathe into your back line. So maybe bringing your hands to the back sides of the ribs, thumbs are just hooked around and coming down this way. So imagining your diaphragm in your ribcage, almost like an umbrella. So nice breath in and try to breathe into, the, into your thumbs, back sides of your ribs. And exhale, let that go. Inhale again, breathing into your thumbs. And exhale, softening. So what this does by opening and moving your rib cage, and now allows your diaphragm to move most maximally, not only front and back, but also 360 and side to side. So now the pressure in your abdomen is nice and balanced all through the middle, but then also onto the pelvic floor. So not that you have to breathe this way all the time, but just that, especially when you're doing deep breathing or maybe you're coordinating your Kegels with your breath, if you think about this 360 breath and really focus on that rib cage mobility, then that will help your pelvic floor recruit a little bit more optimally up and down as well. Give it a go for a few breaths and let me know how it goes.